Hey everybody, we are back and ready to show you how to be an acolyte in the sanctuary. Um, as you can see, I also have the owl bone and I'm ready to help. But for this part, we're just going to show you where you come to get your candle lit if you are the candle lighter. And if you're holding the cross, if you're the crucifer, you're going to stand here as well. But pretend right now I'm an usher. So ushers will be sitting right here. You see them giving out bulletins to people. They will also have a lighter and you just come up to one of them and they will light your candle for you. If I can get this, I'm not as talented as an usher. There we go. So you will come up. I will light your candle. Lighter. It might take a second because it's a brand new taper. Okay, and Hannah, can you show us how to hold it while you're waiting to go into the sanctuary? Okay, so once it's lit, you want to like have the flame like not away from you. But like while you're waiting, you can just turn it down. But once it's lit, you want to make sure it's up mm -hmm. and you're kind of aware of where the flame is because you don't want to like go into the service with long, beautiful hair and then go out with it short because you lit someone's hair on fire. Yeah. So just be cautious of where your light is. And if it goes out, worse things worse is um, you just get them to light it again. But you see as it's going, the um, the wax kind of getting farther down. So like I'm going to push it up as necessary because mm -hmm. if the light gets down here and the wax isn't showing, then it'll go out. Perfect. And Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. I used to um, get it when I used to act like I would not get anyone to light it until like two minutes before the service started mm -hmm. or else like you're just standing there with the flame and all the wax will run out. Yeah, good point. So we're not going to light that candle for you 10 minutes before the service starts. Even though you might be here at the doors 10 minutes before the service starts, your job during that time is just to interact and to greet people, um, get to know your buddy if you don't know them already, and just hang out and be a welcoming presence as people come in to worship. And then like Hannah said, one or two minutes before, um, they will light that candle for you and you'll back up and then they will tell you when it's time to go in. All right, guys, so we are ready to show you exactly how you're going to walk in as an acolyte. Um, during this time, just pretend that, well, as you can see, Hannah's already got her candle lit. I'm the crucifer, so I'm holding the cross. And what will happen is an usher will tell you to go or Miss Catherine Rouse will meet you. Um, we have lots of lay leaders and wonderful people who are going to be here to help you. But one thing you can think about is when we have something called an introit, when you hear Miss Francis playing the organ, the crucifer will go in first. And I'll show you where to, where to notice that the candle lighter will come in. So I'm ready. The music's starting. Hannah's not lighting my hair on fire. Notice how far back she is from me. <laughs> All right. The music's starting. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to start walking. Okay. And then when I get right here, you might notice there's a number, number seven right there. That's when Hannah will come in as an acolyte. So I'm going to keep walking as Hannah's going to come in. I don't want to get turned around. And I don't even run, I can just walk. I'm in, I'm still taking my time, being a screen behind me. And I'm going to come stand right here. You'll notice Hannah's going to keep walking and she's going to start lighting the candles. And I'm going to sit here for a minute and I might count the 10 in my head just to give everybody a second to see what is going on to set the tone for worship. And I'm going to light the first candle, and then I'm going to bow because I'm crossing the cross. And then I'll light the second candle, and then bow because I'm crossing the cross again. And then I will extinguish my flame and go sit down. And just about that time, I counted a ten in my head. I'm going to come over here and put the cross into the stand. Take your time on it. You might hear that little bump, and you'll see that this part of the cross that we talked about earlier is facing out. And then what I'm going to do is just come over here and sit with him. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can see, Hannah and I are sitting over here in this cool space behind the pulpit. Um, a couple things to think about when you're back here. Everybody in the church is watching and looking your way. So you really want to be a good example to everybody in worship. Me and Hannah can't be rumbling back here and fighting and singing super loud different songs that are not being sung in worship and doing all those silly things because that will change the tone of worship. So you're really being a leader during this time. Anna, do you want to add anything about that? Since you've done this many times? Um, no. When you sit down, there should be a bulletin and a handle on your seat. So you should be all set for worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you will have your bulletin that tells you exactly where to enter into the space, into S in the space. Um, we will also try to have a worship packet for you if you would like to use that. And I've heard Miss Francis has perfect speech sometimes. Yeah, if you're being extremely holy, Miss Francis <laughs> may hand you a Rubik's Cube, which is really her way of saying, hey, channel that energy somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So we have 
fast forwarding through the service now, we are right at the end, and we are on our last hymn. And I know that because I'm looking at my bulletin, I'm using my resources, and I see we're coming up on our last hymn. So what do we do now at that point, Hannah? You know? Now we're gonna know that we're on our last hymn, and we're gonna wait until just about the last um, verse or the last. Like usually there's numbers like one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like spaces. So you wait until about the fourth space, and the cross and the candlelight are going to get up at the same time, and then they grab their respective utensils, there you go. and then extinguish the flames, and grab the cross, and line up like you're about to leave. All right, so, we, yep, we see we're on the last part of the hymn, on part number four or three or whatever. We're going to get up at the same time. I am carrying the cross, so I'm going to come over here and grab it. And pay special attention to what Anna does at this time. Okay, so I'm going to grab my extinguisher, and I'm going to make sure that the candle's up. And I'm going to extinguish the first one using the round part, this big part right here. And I'm going to extinguish the first flame. And then I'll bow because I'm crossing the cross. And then I want to make sure to light this because you need to carry the light out into the world. So before you extinguish, you want to light your taper again. And then you'll extinguish this one. And then you'll be ready to follow the cross out. All right, guys. So after that, or kind of during that, if you're the crucifer, you're going to go ahead and you're going to line up here at the bottom of the steps. And the acolyte that is lighting the candle is going to come right behind you. Okay? So it's kind of like you're exiting the way that you entered. Okay? So I'll come down to the bottom of the steps. And then I'm just going to line up right behind her. And she's not going to catch my hair on fire. Even though her candle lighter is still lit, she's not going to catch my hair on fire. Okay? We're going to be sitting here for just a second. Okay? And what's going to happen is the pastor's going to come up and do their benediction. And they're actually going to be walking out behind. So we're just waiting patiently. But they're going to do their benediction. And then after they've said amen usually, then we will start walking out. Nobody else in the congregation should be walking out before you. We've told them that you're going to be doing this. So don't worry about that. Just walk out exactly the same way that you came in. All right, you ready? So they said, amen, and we walk. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys from this angle. I'm still the crucifer. I'm back here, and Hannah is walking towards me. She's got the candle in her hand, so you can go ahead and walk towards me. And the music is playing. The pastor's just said, amen. And a really big important thing, guys, I think Hannah mentioned earlier, is you are carrying the light of Christ out into the world. So we don't need to extinguish it while we're walking here. We'll show you exactly where to extinguish it, okay? Doing a good job walking slow. I'm going to turn this way so you can see where we are. All right. So see where we are? We're out the doors. And then you can extinguish your flame. And then you're going to go put everything back exactly where you put it on. All right. Great job, guys. And Hannah.